everyone, Ara here. Welcome back. So today's story is one out of Montreal in Canada. A young lady, a woman of color known as Tisha, walked into her local pharmacy called Uniprix in an area called La Salle. This is where she normally goes for her shopping to buy hair care products or any other things that someone would pick at a pharmacy. To her surprise, hair products of black women were listed as non-essentials with a tape across them like you can't shop them or you can't buy them because they're non-essential products and then when she looked on the side other hair products were available to be shopped except products meant for people like her she went back home and then a few days later came back with two of her friends to confront the owner of the pharmacy as to why hair products of black women were blocked off and unavailable to be bought so they filmed the entire incident on instagram live and i'm going to play for you the video the black hair care products as you can tell these are all black hair care products right check, check. now first things first guys we're gonna stay calm we're not worthy to have our section open and it creates a problem because our hair stores that normally where we would go to get our products were deemed non-essential so they are closed the hair salons are also closed mm -hmm. so then where do we go to get what we need section fermé that means sections closed but the store is open here we have all of the other products when i saw it i was actually kind of shocked and disappointed like okay why did they block off that section because the other section is obviously open the next day all three of us met up to go um ask to speak to the manager actually about the situation this can't go in my hair that can't go in her hair I have natural hair. This can't go in my hair. When we first spoke to the assistant manager, she said there was a lit. The first thing I asked her actually was, can I get something from this section? And she said no. And we said, why not? And she said, because there was a list. And on that list, the things that are deemed non-essential, we had to block those. Things. We received a notice of what is essential and what is non-essential. <laughs> and as three females from this community standing our grounds for what we believe in, we're gonna go all the way with it. Let's just get that public apology that we do deserve. We open it up. Yeah, that's what I'm opening. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So why, so why was it blocked in the first place? You're saying that it was deemed non-essential? No. That's what you just said. No, no. This is recorded, so just know that you did say that. We're very happy. We're thankful that they took it down right away. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm thankful for that, but I feel like, you know, I'm speaking for all of the black people that had to walk past that sign for the days that it was up. You know, if it was two days, if it was three hours, regardless, how do those people feel? So as you've seen from the interaction, good enough, the owner took down the tip from their hair products for black women. The owner of the store made an apology and they said it was a mistake. And I'm going to quote a statement that they said. They said Uniprix is committed to offering safe and inclusive environment to all of its customers. We apologize to all the customers who have been affected adversely. So the thing here is when you block off products for people of color, just means like they are not important enough or they are not considered like why would you just single them out and just block out products. And this story is not a new one. We've seen similar stories about, you know, black women and their hair or women of color and their hair there is one i remember in south africa where a clicks clicks is a pharmacy in south africa they ran this advert where they put a picture of a woman who had black hair or like kinky hair or afro hair and they named that as dry and healthy you know not well taken care of and then they put next to it a picture of someone like blonde hair or very light brown hair and named that as healthy so it just beats your understanding of course i don't know if this is a mistake or not i don't know what you think if this is a mistake or not why like what do people be thinking when they do such things you know what would you be thinking when you feel in the entire store you single out the section which caters for people of color and you feel they are not important enough you know because right now the saloons are closed, all those, most of those public areas are closed, you can't get a haircut or you can't get your hair washed or anything. 
so like what's going on in this post mind when you just feel like they are not good enough or not important enough, you know, and just think you can just block out the section of their hair products. I mean, I share your thoughts and let us know what you think about this incident. I check out my YouTube channel at Ray Kembawazi, my Twitter and Instagram also at Ray Kembawazi, and see you on the next story. Bye.